a very common question when somebody's putting together a new engine for the ring package is, okay, what about the oil rings? I hear high tension, I hear low tension. It's a street car, it's a street strip car, it's a Lake Speed Junior of Total Seal. Tell me, what's the magic in an oil control ring? Well, really, Alan, it's this, the expander mm -hmm. is a spring. And like you said, there's all this confusion about high tension, low tension, standard tension. Well, the reality is standard tension on a 3 16th oil ring is about, you know, 20 to 25 pounds. Standard tension on a three millimeter oil ring like this one is about 10 to 12 pounds. But wait, a high tension three millimeter oil ring is about 15 pounds. A low tension 3 16th oil ring is about 15 pounds. So it really depends on what you're doing. You can't just rely on the high tension, low tension, standard tension. You really need to think about what the application is. And of course, that's the benefit of being a Total Seal is that we have all this information that can tell you the actual tension on each oil ring set. Now, there is a there is a situation when a very high tension ring would be something you want, right? I mean, if you're going for maximum horsepower in a pro stock car, you certainly don't want the highest tension oil ring you can, but in a top fuel car, you better have one. Uh, yes, and one of the big differences there is the viscosity of oil they run. That's really one of the big uh, factors on it. What is the right tension for your application? Well, a couple things are gonna matter. One, is it boosted or naturally aspirated, right? So in this case, this is a boosted ring. This specific ring, is we call a black oil ring. So that's gas nitrided okay. to make it stronger to bump up the tension because with top fuel, you've got crazy cylinder pressure that's trying to blow that ring away from the cylinder wall. So you get more tension holding it out, but also you have a very high viscosity oil. You know, straight 70, you know, nitro 70 oil, really thick oil. So I need higher tension to scrape that thicker oil because all viscosity is, is a fancy word for resistance to flow. So the more resistance, the more tension I need to control it. Flip side on your pro stock application, very low viscosity oil, I can get by with a much lower oil ring tension. So I'm not giving up any power. So when I call you and I say, okay, here's the project I've got, here's the engine I'm gonna build. What do I need to know before I order these rings? What information do you have to have to make sure I get the right package? So we're gonna need to know if it's boosted, or naturally aspirated or nitrous. Because all those things factor into what we want to do for ideal oil ring tension. Then, what oil viscosity are you planning on running in the engine? You know, sometimes you were say, the difference between saying running E85 or rigor gasoline. Well, with E85, you're gonna have to run uh, more fuel through the engine, you know, per cubic inch because of the air fuel ratio being different. All right, well, typically you're gonna have to run a little bit thicker viscosity to compensate for that. Back to what we talked about before and all the tech talks. Mm -hmm. The fuel is trying to wash the oil off the cylinder wall. Oil is the gasket between the piston ring and the cylinder. So you want that gasket to get a good, good seal, fuel is trying to wash it away. Well, surface finish, the cylinder board makes a huge difference. But oil viscosity also makes a difference. So if I have a little bit more oil viscosity, a little bit more uh, valley on my surface finish, now I can retain the oil, resist that fuel wash, and maintain good ring seal. So that's the thing we need to know. What fuel you're running, is it boosted, naturally aspirated? And we also need to know uh, what viscosity you're planning on running. So make sure you've got all those answers before you call Total Seal to order your ring package. And then make sure you get not only the right top and second ring, but the right oil ring for your application as well. There really is a difference.